Hi guys, welcome back to Math with James. So today the problem is again about finding the area between the graphs of four different functions. The first one is the graph of the function x is equal to y squared minus 2. And then the graph of the green one actually is x is equal to e raised to the power y. And then the two horizontal straight lines are respectively y is equal to 1 and y is equal to negative one. So basically we need to find the area that's enclosed here. So these functions actually are with the variable y. So if we rotate the function and then get a graph like this, it would be much easier for us to understand how to get the area. All right, so now the area is here, this part. And then basically it's going to be the difference between the two curves. x is equal to e raised to the power y and then x is equal to y squared minus 2 from negative 1 to positive 1, right? Because this one is y is equal to negative 1 and this one is y is equal to 1. So we're going to use a formula that we have talked about yesterday. So a is equal to the integral from negative 1 to 1 of the difference of the two functions e raised to the power y minus y squared minus 2 becomes plus 2 in the parenthesis with respect to variable of x. I didn't do the calculation yesterday because it was pretty late and I was pretty sleepy. Uh, so I'm going to do it today. All right, so it's pretty easy. We're going to find the antiderivative of each one of them and then just try to put them together. So the antiderivative of ey actually is ey. It stays the same. And the derivative of negative y squared actually is 1 over 3 y raised to the power of 3. The antiderivative of 2 should be 2y. Oh, sorry, that's one thing that I got wrong. The variable here is not x anymore. It should be y. So in regard of the variable y from negative 1 to 1. Basically, we're going to use this uh, fb minus fa formula, right? Which is going to be... Alrighty, guys. So we're going to unpack this parenthesis and do the additions and subtractions. All right, so the final result is going to be e minus e raised to the power of negative 1, 10 over 3. And that's going to be the final result. But if you want to get an approximation of this value, remember E actually is approximately equal to 2.7182, right? And then you plug it in. So this value is going to be approximately equal to, how much is it? Let's just do a little calculation. All right, I will see you guys next time. Take care.